एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम now in the first part we have uh, studied about the controlling of the speed of the induction motor by firstly controlling the frequency and second by controlling the number of poles i am narendra kaur now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by s chand publishing e book link description is given in the description box the speed of that induction motor that can also be controlled firstly by controlling the so this is the third part by controlling the voltage supply so how we can control the voltage supply so now in the three phase diagram from the primary winding if this is connected to our input over value over here input ac is connected over here now in this case how you can control the voltage supply voltage supply to the primary winding how that can be controlled here this can be plotted like this also so in this case we have winding over here the induction motor or in the transformer you can say that so how you can control the voltage supply voltage here when the input is given to here the i1 current starts flowing that means when if we can tune this i1 current if this current can be tuned to automatically the voltage supply that can be tuned so that can be controlled over here by introducing a resistance in the supply over here so here the resistance which is induced that is represented by like this r so this is a variable resistance when the variable resistance is introduced in this case now as the r varies r changes <coughs> automatically the current flowing through it that will change current flow that will change now as the current goes on changing so automatically in the voltage supply that can be changed so the speed frequency that can be altered so in this case speed of the motor that can be controlled over here so variable resistance so first part that can be controlled by introducing a variable resistance in the voltage supplied means in the input power means at the input at the input variable resistance is introduced second part That that is the fourth part over here. So in that case, now in the fourth part, we have studied about the two configuration. One is a star, and second one is a delta configuration. So in the star configuration, we will get the maximum value of voltage. While in delta configuration, we get the maximum current in this case. So the star configuration that can be. so first case is a star configuration take the star configuration add the input so this is the star configuration now from these three parts we can take the output so these are the three resistance here they are connected in series so this is also known as a three phase diagram the three phases what is r over here 
you can say that if this is a red part yellow and the blue part again this is a three phase three phases which are connected in series over here so in this case now we want to get the output how the output that can be tuned in this case that can be tuned if some variable resistance is introduced over here means in both of these in in the three supplies first one is a red then yellow and the blue the resistance variable resistance in, introduced now as the resistance changes over here so automatically the current which is supplied to the three phases that will goes on changed as the current changes automatically the output or the speed speed that can be controlled the speed that can be changed in this case so the speed in this case that can be changed by introducing a variable resistance in the star configuration automatically when the resistance is introduced over here the voltage the output voltage that is affected now the output voltage is affected which implies ns that is a synchronized speed of the rotating three windings that can be controlled so this is a synchronized speed over here so the synchronized speed that can be changed for the three winding now second one is a delta configuration so what is a delta configuration so in the delta configuration three windings are connected to each other by this now in order to get out input over here if this is the input is given to the three windings now again how you can vary to this introduce again variable resistance so to the three phasers the variable resistance is introduced and due to that variable resistance again automatically what will happen that will change the input and as the input is changing input voltage is changed this input voltage basically this input voltage rotate the three windings in the this is r winding over here this is a yellow winding and that is a blue one over here okay so as the input voltage is changed so the speed of this three rotating magnetic field that will be changed so automatically the speed that can be synchronized so in this case so there are the important parameters are so first one is the in the induction motor first one is a static second one is a rotor and third one is a pole over here so in the rotor so there are the three windings that three windings includes the rotates with the that three windings rotates with the that three windings rotates with the magnetic field because as in the three windings magnetic field is applied or the current is supplied to these three windings means in the three windings in these three windings if this is a direction of current in the r1 so that is a yellow winding over here and this is a blue over here 
So in the induction motor, in the three windings, as the current is varying, as soon as the current is varying, the induced magnetic field, according to Fleming's right hand rule, that goes on changing. If this goes on changing, now and then in this case, so as the input voltage changed, we change the input voltage by variable resistance by introducing a variable resistance. We introduce here the variable resistance. So due to variable resistance, as the input voltage is changed, the current is changing. Now the current is changing, the induced EMF that will change. Now due to these induced EMF, these three windings are rotating at the some speed. So when the EMF is changed in the three windings, automatically their speed that can be controlled. The so speed of these three windings can be changed. So first one is the NS which is equals to 120 F by P means in the first case the speed is controlled by controlling the frequency. Second is the NS synchronized speed that can be controlled by controlling the poles. Next is the third one by controlling the or by introducing the variable resistance. Fourth one, by changing input in three phase configuration which includes star and delta configuration, star and delta configuration. So this is all about the, so this is all about the second part. So in second part we have understood how the speed of induction motor can be controlled by controlling the input voltage by substituting or by putting a variable resistance at the star and the delta configuration. Now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by S. Chant Publishing. Ebook link description is given in the description box. If you like this video please kindly like, subscribe and share this video and also press the bell icon for the future notifications.